Is Harry bisexual? Of all the rumours that have come out over the years, this one is probably the strangest regarding the Duke of Sussex. There have been rumours that Harry may not be as straight as he makes out to be. For example, there are photos in the public domain of him attempting to lick another man's nipple. It's also rumoured that Harry had a male lover in Marcus Anderson, but there's not enough evidence to support this. In his memoir, the prince reflects on frequently overhearing members of the public question if he was gay while waiting in line at the supermarket. He says that he's been tempted to respond to speculation about his sexuality. More than once, I watched customers read about me, overheard them debating me, he recalls. In 2015, I overheard them frequently discussing whether or not I'd ever marry, whether or not I was happy, whether or not I might be gay. I was always tempted to tap them on the shoulder. Hello. He describes calling out an elderly couple for heatedly discussing his life choices with a cashier. I stepped forward, showed my face, cleared my throat. Excuse me, not sure what's going on here, but I don't think you should be speaking to her like that. Back in March 2021, Harry and his wife Meghan Markle had given their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey when they alleged that a member of the royal family made comments about how dark their son's skin might be once he was born. Making matters worse, they went public with it, so then the entire world was led to believe the same thing. Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, had a good deal to say about Harry and not simply about this as Newsweek reports, that he also slammed the prince for his engagement ring claim. So Harry, why didn't you clear up that mess? Why didn't you settle your grandmother's mind when she was worrying in a sitting room at Windsor Castle? To not sort out that mess before she died is unforgivable. Prince Harry clarified in a recent ITV interview that he never claimed that the royal family was racist when Tom Bradby said, in the Oprah interview, you accused members of your family of racism. Harry explained that he didn't do that and claimed instead that it was the British press who made that inference. However, despite his burning criticism, Burrell did express hope that Prince William and Harry would reconcile, suggesting, wouldn't it be wonderful to see the boys repair their relationship and be back where they should be back? Prince Harry had claimed in his memoir Spare and in later interviews that he never asked to keep his mother's engagement ring. However, Newsweek reports that wasn't exactly how it went down. Burrell said that Harry did in fact ask for the engagement ring in 1997. Harry said to me, I always remember holding mummy's hand and that ring hurting me because it was so big. And that's why when the boys came to Kensington Palace, I said to them, you must take something of your mother's. You must take something to remind yourself of your time here at Kensington Palace and your mother's life. Meanwhile, the Sussexes could be stripped of their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles if a new bill is passed in Parliament. Conservative MP Bob Seeley is seeking to present a private member's bill to the House of Commons to revoke the couple's titles. The move has been supported by an overwhelming 96% in a new poll.